Hello to all those tuning in to our WHS TV coverage of the Maslin Tigers. Today is our first playoff game of the year. Our Tigers are the first seed in Division II right now, meaning we, tonight we are facing off against the 16th seed, Central Crossing Comets. Maslin's coming in still undefeated at 10-0, while Central Crossing has been fighting tough battles all season as they sit at 4-6. Last week, the Mas Maslin faced the Canton McKinley Bulldogs, where they won 35-0, to which, believe it or not, brought down their scores per game average, as Maslin sits at an average score of 39.9 per game right now. Tonight's looking to be a great start to the playoffs. Every year at WASTV, we'd like to thank the following sponsors for their financial help, allowing us to bring tonight's game. Back to excavating. Fuel in, OVR Insurance, Cosmos Grill, Discount Tire Outlet, Doring Vision Center, Downtown Madison Association, Bad Daddy Meets, Friends and Families Credit Union, Home Appliance, Madison, Madison Boy and Girls Club, MCTV, MedCab, Med MedCab Pharmacy, Mentis Brothers, Reliable Heating and Cooling, The Home Appliance Company, the Boston Museum, the WHS Alumni Association, the Space Shop, and your pizza shop. Looks like to start off tonight's playoff game, the Tigers will be receiving the ball first for the first possession.
looks like that is number 99, Dickerson Kyle, who will be, er, Kyle Dickerson, apologies, will be kicking the ball off for the Comets to start off the game. Comments preparing, and the kick is off, and the game has started. Ball is going left side. And that is number. Didn't quite see who that was, but Tigers get the ball all the way up to around the 35. That was number 24, Tyler Hackenbrack, on the carry, or on the return. Ball is placed at the 36. Brings it to first and ten for the Tigers. And time for the first offensive possession of the game. Number 15, Dewan Owens, back at quarterback. Beside him, number 21, Jameer Gamble. Tigers and shotgun, snap is back. Fake handoff. Throw right side, number seven, Jacquez Carter who gets tackled around the 39. Pass was complete. Brings it to second and six for the Tigers. Ball placed on the 40. Ball snapped, handed off left side. Number one, Jameer, number twenty-one, Jameer Gamble. Jameer Gamble got swarmed immediately after the handoff. That was a loss of two yards. That play brings it to third and eight. Ball placed in the thirty-eight. The Wano wins a shotgun. Amir Gamble to his right. Ball snapped. Owens looking to throw. Quick throw up the middle. That's eight. Number eight, Emmy Lewis Jr. Amazing catch and yardage from Emmy Lewis Jr. You can see on the replay here, Dewan Owens finding him straight up the middle, getting away from his defender all the way up to the Comets round the 38 yard line. Ball placed on the Comets 38, now first and 10. About 10, 20 left in the first quarter. Ball snapped. Dewan Owens quick throw right side, Jacques Carter. It's up to round the 32. Gets pulled out of bounds. That was number 15, number 15, Shamar Humphreys on the tackle. Dewana wins at quarterback still in shotgun. Jameer Gamble to his right side. Ball snapped. Hand off Jameer Gamble, who goes straight up the middle. Gets to around the 27. Really nice run from Jameer Gamble, finding the opening straight up the middle and getting the first down for the Tigers. Tigers now 27 from the end zone. Ball snapped. Hand off Jameer Gamble again, who goes up the middle again. Gets forward progress up to about the 23 and gets pulled back. Brings it to second and seven. Ball placed on the 24.
Ball snapped. Dwan looking to throw. Quick throw up left side. Number one, Braylon Tolls. Gets up to about the 15-yard line. Gets the first down and is tackled. One on one's back hit. Shotgun. Jameer Gamble to his right still. Two receivers left side. Man in motion. Ball snapped. Handed off to handed off to number seven. Number seven. It's number seven, Jacques Carter. that places the Tigers on the 19 now and brings it to second and 14 for the Tigers. Loss of four yards there. Same formation. Ball snapped. Dewan looking to throw. Scrambling off to his left. Has some room open. Goes up, upfield. Gets to round the 10 yard line, gets tackled. Dorian Pringle and Mike Wright Jr. coming out onto the field. Dewan Owens and shotgun, Dorian and Mike Wright Jr beside him. Ball snapped, handed off left side, Dorian Pringle, who finds an opening up the middle and gets a touchdown for the Tigers. Tigers lining up for an extra point. Number five, Vincent Keller as the kicker. Kick is up, and the extra point is good. Now to start off from our racing touchdown, you will hear from my professor, Bactyl Excavating. Bactyl Excavating has been serving Maslin and the surrounding areas since 2000. We specialize in residential, commercial, industrial site work, and utility installation. Our primary focus is our people. Bactyl Excavating invests in its people by providing the best training and equipment possible to complete projects safely, efficiently, and with great quality. Whether you're looking to build a career or your next construction project, give us a call. Bactyl Excavating. Back to so come back here. Tigers now preparing to kick off the ball for the Comets after they just got that first possession touchdown. Number five, Vincent Keller preparing for the kickoff. Kick is up, going right side. Bounces and taken in by a Comet who gets pulled out of bounds. Comet who got that was number three, Malik Kamara. Tiger defense taking the field for the first time this game. Comet offense coming out for the first time. Quarterback for the Comets, number 14, Luke White. Flag thrown down at the 27. Number 
was a flag on the Comets. Ball pushed back about five yards. Dead ball over Falk Star. 69 right. So that brings it to first and 15 for the Comets, placed on the Tigers 23, or on their own 23, apologies. Ball snapped, looking to throw, throws up the right side, and throw was high, intended for number 15, Shamar Humphreys. Brings it to second and 15 for the Comets. About 6.30 left on the clock for the first quarter. Ball snapped. Handed off left side. It's number three, number three Malik Kamara on the carry. Stopped by a whole host of Tigers there. Brings it to third and ten for the Comets. Ball placed on their own 28. Ball snapped. There's pushing in, throw right side intended for number 15, Shamar Humphreys, but dropped. Brings it to fourth and 10. Looks like the Comets punting team is coming out now. That's number 41, I believe, for the Comets. I don't know. They don't have 41. Can't see who that is. Low snap. Short punt. And goes out of bounds. Well, bounces out of bounds. Which means Maslin offense coming back out on to the field. Tune in every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. For the, for the Nate Moore Show on WHS TV. Each week, Coach Moore reviews the previous game and looks ahead for the next opponent. Plus, you will meet a Tiger player. Watch the Nate Moore Show every Wednesday night at 7.30 on WHS TV. Find us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. Ball snap. There's the Number 21, Jameer Gamble, gets up the middle of the field. Ball placed on the 36, now bringing it to second and seven. Ball snapped. Quick throw up right side, Braylon Tolles. Breaks a tackle. Almost gets through another person. Now ball placed at the 49. Or around the 49. Another first down for the Tigers. DeWan Owens back at shotgun. Jameer Gamble lined up beside him to his left. Number seven, Jacquez Carter in motion. Fake handoff. Looks to throw up the middle. Number one, Braylon Tolles all the way upfield and into the end zone for the Tigers. That is the second Tiger touchdown of the game. You see on the replay, Braylon Tolles getting away from his defender. I'm going to drop back a bit to get the ball, but just getting away and getting into the end zone.
Tigers preparing for an extra point. Vincent Keller for the extra. Ball snapped. Extra points up, and the extra point is good. Now a delicious sponsor from Cosmos Grill. Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin has a great new lineup this season. Cosmos welcomes football fans in for Friday Night Lights every Friday from 9 to midnight during the football season. Enjoy all happy hour food and beverage specials after the game. Regular happy hour specials are featured Monday through Friday from 2 to 5 p.m. Cosmos can also host your holiday banquets and parties. Check out Thrifty Thursdays and 10 lunch items under $10. All available at Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. Thank you so much to Cosmos Grill. Coming back here, Tigers preparing to kick off again after their second touchdown of the game. Clock sits at 441 in the first quarter. Vincent Keller preparing for the kickoff. Number three and number four for the Comets in the backfield to return. Kick is up and right for the Comets. That would be three. Number th that's number three. Malik Kamara gets up to around the 25 and gets tackled. Tigers defense now back out onto the field, second time of the game. Number 14, Luke White, back at quarterback for the Comets. It's back in shotgun. Ball snapped. Handed off to Malik Gunn. Malik Kamara gets all the way up to around the 40 and gets pulled out of bounds. First down for the Comets. Ball placed on the ball placed on the 37. Ball snapped, looking to throw. Pressured by a whole bunch of Tigers and is sacked by the Tigers. That's number 90, that's number 92, Chase Bond on the sack for the Tigers. That sack brings a loss of four yards, bringing the Bringing the comments to second and 14, placed on their own 33. Ball snapped. Handed off again, number three, Malik. Number three, Malik Mara, but instantly tackled by number three, Dorian Pringle. Another loss of yards, about loss of five yards there, bringing it to third and 19. <laughs> Tigers looking for another stop on possession. Ball snapped, instantly blitzed by the Tigers, and that is another sack for a loss of yards, this time losing a good maybe 10 yard. Number zero, Maverick Clark on the sack. Brings it to fourth and, I think that's fourth and 28. Yeah, fourth and 28. Comets preparing to punt again for the second turnover on possession. Or turnover on down. 
Ball snapped. Punt is up, up the middle. Picked up around the 28. That is number 10 on the Tigers. Zach Liebler on the return for the Tigers. Tune in every Wednesday night following the Nate Moore Show for Swing on WAH TV each week. Tiger Swing Band director Jason Neal catches you up on all the band news, and you'll get a preview for the week's halftime show. Watch Swing with Jason Neal every Wednesday night following the Nate Moore Show on WAH TV. Find us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. Quick throw right side, Jacquez Carter gets away from a tackle and gets all the way up to around the 50. Ball placed on the 40, not on the Comets 49 yard line. Tigers already pushing upfield. Number 15, Dewan Owens back at quarterback. Back in shotgun. Number 21, Jameer Gamble lined up to his left. Ball snapped. Dewan looking to throw. Finds a man upfield. Gets all the way up. And that's another Tiger touchdown. Number 7, Jacquez Carter. Third Tiger touchdown of the game. About a minute and a half left in the first quarter. Tigers lining up for the PAT. Number five, Vincent Keller for the extra. Ball snapped. Extra point is up and it is good. From the Massa Museum. The Paul Brown Museum at your Maslin Museum is dedicated to preserving the history of legendary coach Paul Brown and Maslin's football heritage. Explore the traditions that make Maslin's football program unique and learn about the man who helped start it all. With over a century of history, there's so much to discover. The Paul Brown Museum, open today. Thank you so much to the Massey Museum. So we come back now. Tigers preparing to kick off for the third time in the first quarter for after their third touchdown. Number five, Vincent Keller for the kickoff. Kick is up to the left of the field. Gets taken in around the 15, and the returner gets pushed out of bounds around the 20. Ball place on the 22, so brings it to first and 10 for the Comets placed on their own 22. Tigers defense already proving their solidity this game, bringing two, bringing two turnovers on down. Hand off left side and tackled by number three Dorian Pringle around the 27. Or number 33, Cody Fair, apologies. Luke White still at quarterback in the shotgun. So number three, Malik Kamara lined up to his left. 
Man in motion. Ball snapped, headed off left side, Malik Kamara goes up the middle and gets tackled around to the 28. Ball placed on the 29, which brings it to third and three for the Comets. Ball snapped, handed off left side again, and pushed back around the 29. Was short for the first down. So that brings it to fourth down. Fourth and two on the 30 yard line. And that is the end of the first quarter. I need it, you need it, MedCap Pharmacy. MediCap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from 5 to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait half hour to an hour. Probably the best uh, pharmacist in the city. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at MediCap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Serving our community since 1960, Buell and Oliveri Insurance is large enough to meet all of your insurance needs, yet small enough to know you personally. We take pride in having several insurance carriers, including Grange Insurance, that we can match you with to provide you the most complete coverage and the best rates. If you're tired of lower service and higher premiums, give Buell and Oliveri Insurance a call today and let our experienced agents and staff give you the professional attention you deserve. Thank you so much to Medicap Pharmacy and Buell and Liviari Insurance. Liviari Insurance. Excuse me. Ball placed on the 30, brings it to fourth and two for the Comets. As we start off this second quarter, looks like the Comets are preparing to punt the ball off. Ball snapped, and punt is up the middle. Taken in left side by the Tigers, has an opening. Goes up the left side, flag down on the field, and tackled around to the 30, around to the 36. There's a flag down on the Tigers 49 though, or 44 though. That was number 10 for the Tigers, Zach Liebler. So that was a 10-yard penalty against the Tigers based off where the penalty occurred. So the Tigers will be placed on their own 34. Bring them first and 10 for the Tigers. 11.49 on the clock for the second quarter. Tigers up 21-0. Ball snapped. Handed off right side, Jameer Gamble, who finds an opening up the middle, breaks a few, t or no, that's number 28. That's number 28, Lylan Lennox. Gets all the way up to around the 46. Ball placed on the Comets 47, or 48. So, first and 10 for the Tigers. DeWan Owens in shotgun. Ball snap. Looking to throw. Left thrown up the right side. Number four on the reception. Number four. Vincent Keller. Or no, D'Angelo Zimmerman. Sorry. Tigers 
Another first down for the Tigers. Ball placed on the 31, or the 34. Ball snapped, handed off left side, Milan Lennox again. Running an opening, getting upfield, all the way up to around the 20. Third Tiger first down in a row. Clock still running down. Dewan Owens back in shotgun. Ball snapped. Handed off Milan Lennox who goes up the right side. Finds an opening. Upfield, upfield. Taken down around to the six yard line. That brings it to another Tiger first down. Tigers now first and goal. Clock still running down. About 10-15 left in the second quarter. Ball snapped. Fake handoff, Milo Lennox. Thrown up left side. That was intended for number 31. Number 31, uh, Stefan Hogan, the second. Second and six for the or second and goal for the Tigers on the six yard line. Man in motion, ball snapped. Headed off Milan Lennox. Tries getting up through someone, but gets tackled around to the eight yard line. Brings third and nine. Well, third and goal on the nine yard line for the Tigers. Tigers bringing out Dorian Pringle, Mike Wright Jr. Dewan Owens lined up in shotgun. Ball snapped, handed off right side, Mike Wright Jr. Gets all the way up to around the five yard line, gets tackled by a few of the Comets. Brings it to fourth and goal for the Tigers. Ball placed around the five. There's offense staying out on the field. Ball snapped, handed up left side. Dorian Pringle finds an opening and gets into the end zone for a touchdown for the Tigers. The fourth Tiger touchdown of the game. Vincent Keller for the extra point for the Tigers. Ball snap. Extra point is up, and the extra point is good. Now a word from Appliance Company, the home appliance company. It's where we come together, where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry Appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. 
Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop into one of our locations today and become a friend of the family. Thank you to the Home Appliance Company and Friends and Family Credit Union. So we come back now. Tigers preparing to kick off fourth time of the game after their fourth touchdown of the game. 8.45 left on the clock in the second quarter. Vincent Keller for the kickoff. Kick is up. Off to the left, taken in by a Comet. That is number four for the Comets, number four, Jalen Williams. Gets up to around the 30 yard line before being tackled by a host of Tigers. Ball placed directly on the 30 yard line, bring it to first and 10 for the Comets. Ball snapped, fake handed off, thrown up left side, and big hit for the Tigers. Ball was thrown number 11, Dylan, Phil Dylan Phillippe. That was number six for the Tigers, Adonis Marshall, on the tackle there. Ball snapped, handed off, number three, Malik. Malik that, was Mo that was Malik Kamara. Yeah, stopped by number 45, Mike Wright Jr. Ball now placed on the 33, brings it to third and seven for the Comets. Ball snapped, fake handoff, and sacked by number 45, Mike Wright Jr. He's a bit slow to get up, lost his helmet. Brings it to fourth and 15 for the Comets. So Comets bringing out their punting team again. This is the fourth or, f yes, this is the fourth turnover on down for the Comets this game. Kick is up right side, taken in by a Tiger. It's number 24, Tyler Hackenbrack, stiff arms a kid. All the way upfield, gets all the way up to around the 42. Ball placed on the Comets 47, or er, 43. Quick throw up. The right side, number seven, Jacquez Carter. Gets the first down, but it's number ten, Steel Beam on the tackle for the Comets. First down for the Tigers. 
Ball placed on the Comets 32. Two first and ten for the Tigers. About 6.15 left on the clock. Clock still running for the second quarter. Ball snapped. Dewan Owens looking to throw. Getting a throw up left side. Emmy Lewis Jr. Incomplete. Just barely got out of his hands. Pass is complete to number eight, Emmy Lewis Jr. Pass is incomplete. Brings to second and ten for the Tigers. Ball snapped. Quick throw up left side, Jacquez Carter. It was incomplete. Jacquez Carter hit by number 15, Shamar Humphreys. Stopping the, on, stopping the completion there. Went to third and ten for the Tigers. Clock stop at 5.54. Ball snapped. Dewan looking to throw. Finds Jacquez Carter up the middle and just barely out of range for Jacquez Carter. Brings it to fourth and ten for the Tigers now. Out off of pass and completions. Offense staying out on field. Ball snapped. Dewan Owens looking to throw. Keeps it, goes up the right side, and gets a pass off, but looks like the receiver was just out of bounds when he caught it. That was number one, Braylon Tolles. as the Tigers' first turnover on down. Also correction from earlier, the Comets do not have four turnovers on down. They have four punt forced, forced punts. There we go. Brings the Tigers' defense out onto the field again. Ball snapped, handed off left side. That was number number three, Malik Kamara. Cody Fair was there to make a stop for the Tigers. Gain of a yard for the Comets brings to second and nine, placed on the Comets on 33. Ball snapped, looking to throw up the right side. Ball was ball was caught. Number ten, Steeler Bean. The reception there brings it to third and three for the Comets. Ball placed on the Comets 39. Third and four. Correction. No, third and three. High snap, handed off number three, Malik Kamara. Gets tackled around to the 39. Brings it to fourth and three for the Comets. It's 
Race number 11 for the Comets, Dylan Philippi for the fifth forced punt of for the Comets. Oh, snapped. And the punt is up right side. It, ball was dropped, number 10 for the Tigers. Scrambling around, trying to find an opening. Finds an opening up the right side. Oh, there's a block in the back for the Tigers. Oh. It's all the way upfield. That was number 10 for the Tigers, Zach Liebler, but there is a flag down on the 22. Officials discussing the flag. be placed on the Tigers 13 yard line bringing it to first and 10 for the Tigers really nice run there by Zach Liebler number 15 Dewan Owens back in shotgun 21 Jameer Gamble beside him Ball snapped, handed off right side. Jameer Gamble finds an opening, gets all the way up to around the 25 before getting tackled. Gamble for Barry. Aaron Jenkins, number 52, there to make the stop. Brings two first and ten. Handed off left side. Jameer Gamble again. Gets tackled this time around the 27. Number 21, Jameer Gamble with the carry again. Lee Kamara, number three, there to make the stop for the Comets. Brings it to second and nine for the Tigers. Ball placed on the 26. Ball snapped. Fake handoff. Kept by Dewan Owens. Gets it up. Number four. It's number four for the Tigers. It's number four, D'Angelo Zimmerman gets all the way up to around the 46. Brings it to first and 10 for the Tigers. Ball placed on the 45. On the Comets 45. Timeout for the Comments. Now, now a sponsor from Fat Daddy Meats. Defense. Fat Daddy Meats, when you have the fillin' to do some grilling or roasting, broiling, pan frying, slow cooking, braising, smoking, or even air frying. However you like to cook it, Fat Daddy Meats has it. Locally sourced ground beef, steaks, roasts, prime rib, and seafood, pork, chicken, bison, and exotics like elk, venison, wild boar tenderloin, wagyu burgers, even whole rabbits. Individual packages or bulk bundle options are available, all with great prices. When you have that fillin' to do some grilling, it's Fat Daddy Meats and Maslin. Doring Vision Center is a primary care optometry clinic located in downtown Maslin. We have an optical department with a wide variety of eyeglass frames. From budget packages to designer brands, we have it all. Doring Vision Center uses the latest technology and fit all types of contact lenses. We treat eye disease conditions and will take emergency eye visits. Most insurances are accepted and same-day appointments may be available. Doring Vision Center. See your offices in Maslin or New Philadelphia. Thank you so much to Fat Daddy Meats and Doing Vision. 
Vision Center. So we come back now. Tigers placed onto the Comets 45. Dewan Owens back in shotgun. Ball snapped. Dewan looking to throw. Finds an open man upfield. But ball is intercepted. That was number that was number three, Malik Kamara for the Comets. Gets all the way up to around the 45 before getting pushed out of bounds. So that brings the Comets out to their own 46. Under two minutes left in the second quarter. The Comets will receive the ball after halftime. Luke White back in shotgun, number four, Jalen Williams, line up to his left. Ball snapped, high snap. Looks to keep it, number three, Dorian Pringle on the sack there. First time out of the Now a word from Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Here at Menchez Brothers, we offer the comfort of a home-cooked meal and a welcoming atmosphere. We are home to 50 burgers, so you will never run out of options to choose from, and on Wednesdays, you can get those burgers for $3 off. We also have delicious breakfast specials. Come to Manchester Brothers to experience the incredible food and be serviced by our friendly staff. We can be found in downtown Maslin. You can call in a pickup order or you can get it delivered using DoorDash. We can't wait to see you. Thank you so much to Maslin Boys and Girls Club and the Mentress Brothers. So we come back now, minute 47 left in the second quarter. Comets ball after a interception. Ball currently placed on the Comets 44. Brings to second and 11. Ball snapped, handed off right side pretty quick. That was number four. That was number four, Jalen Williams on the carry. Another timeout for the Tigers. A word from our sponsor, the Space Shop. Welcome to the Space Shop. With supplies and carts on site, you will be moved into your climate controlled unit at the speed of light. Our 24-7 surveillance and on-site managers ensure that your items are well taken care of. With peace of mind, stop in and enjoy some warm complimentary cookies. The Space Shop is your launch pad for a decluttered lifestyle. Bactyl Excavating has been serving Maslin and the surrounding areas since 2000. We specialize in residential, commercial, industrial site work, and utility installation. Our primary focus is our people. Bactyl Excavating invests in its people by providing the best training and equipment possible to complete projects safely, efficiently, and with great quality. Whether you're looking to build a career or your next construction project, give us a call. Bactyl Excavating. Thank you so much for the space shop and back to us today. So we come back now. Quick throw up the middle. Number four. That was number four. Jalen Williams on the reception there. Number zero, Maverick Clark there to make the stop for the Tigers. Our next boss, their discount tire outlet. Your 
Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. We're hassle free, guaranteed. Fresh, great tasting pizza can be difficult to find. Your pizza shop, located on Mathlin's west side, has been making delicious pizzas since the 1960s. Their large menu includes your favorite pizzas and toppings, along with wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and more. Their convenient drive through window is open. Delivery service is available too. Your pizza shop, located on the corner of Lincoln Way West and 32nd Street Northwest in Maslin. Thank you so much to this Town Tire Outlet and your pizza shop. So we come back now. Tigers just used their last touchdown or their last timeout of the quarter, and that was a good tackle. Number four, Jalen Williams, trying to carry the ball for the Comets there, but instantly pressured and taken down by number t 92, Chase Bond. There is a flag down on the 49. Officials discussing. Personal foul. Defense, face mask. First down. There's a face mask called on the Tigers, which brings it to first down for the Comets. 15. Number 15. Wait, number 15? Dewan's on the sideline. <laughs> All right. So that brings it to first and 10 for the Comets. Ball placed on the Tigers 33. Ball snapped. Ball was thrown, intended for number 11, Dylan Philippi, but pass was incomplete. Brings it to second and ten for the Comets. One twelve left on the clock. They will receive the ball after halftime. Ball snapped, kept by the quarterback, and tackled. There's number 92 Chase Bond and number 13 Vito McConnell on the on the tackle there. Tigers just used up all three of their timeouts. So, timeout called by the Comets. Now, re reliable heating and cooling. Second timeout of the half. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Lennox, air is life, make it perfect. Serving our community since 1960, Buell and Olive Area Insurance is large enough to meet all of your insurance needs, yet small enough to know you personally. We take pride in having several insurance carriers, including Grange Insurance, that we can match you with to provide you the most complete coverage and the best rates. If you're tired of lower service and higher premiums, give Buell and Oliveri Insurance a call today and let our experienced agents and staff give you the professional attention you deserve. Thank you so much to Buell and Oliveri Insurance and reliable heating and cooling. So we come out now. Comets on third and 11. 
Oh. And a pass was, the pass was intercepted by the Tigers. So that brings the Tigers offense out onto the field with 27 seconds left in the second quarter. Tigers, the ball for the Tigers placed on their own 28. Tigers with zero timeouts left. The Comets with one timeout left. Tigers are just going to have to just get upfield as fast as they can. Only 27 seconds left to score. Doubt the Comets are going to try and help them with their last timeout. Ball snapped. Dewan looking to throw. Looking up left side. Caught number seven, Jacquez Carter. Who gets tackled. Ball placed onto the Tigers 47. Sixteen seconds left on the clock. Dewan Owens back at shotgun. Ball snapped. Dewan looking to throw. Scrambling up left side, finding a whole bunch of Tigers up the left side. Caught number seven, Jacquez Carter. Who gets wait? Dropped by number seven, jo Jacquez Carter. Man. Six seconds left on the clock. Second and ten for the Tigers on their own 47. Or third and ten for the Tigers. Tigers with six seconds left on the clock. This is make or break for them. Only have time for about one more play. DeWan back in shotgun. Ball snapped. DeWan looking to throw. Being pressured and sacked by a Comet. That's number 53 for the Comets. Kyle Kruskamp. Sorry if I butchered that. But that brings us to the end of the second quarter. Now for my sponsor, WHS Alumni. The Washington High School Alumni Association provides many services to the alumnus and the community. One of the most rewarding things is helping classes with their class reunions or milestone birthday celebrations. If a class chooses to use the Alumni Association, envelopes and labels will be provided at no cost and your invitations will be mailed out as bulk mail, which is a cheaper cost to the class. The Alumni Association also prints a newsletter twice a year. If you make an annual donation of no less than $5, you will receive the newsletter via mail in the spring and fall. If you have moved or your contact information has changed, please visit our website at maslinwhsaa.org and complete the alumni information form to make any changes. If you are interested in joining the Alumni Association, please contact any trustee or call the alumni office at 330-830. 3901, extension 51617. It's where we come together, where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry Appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. Thank you so much to the WHS Alumni Association and the Home Appliance Company. So we come back now. The, the Comets Band will be playing first.
every Friday night when the stars come out. Comet Football gets our hands locked with ears, fizz, and attention, and hand clap.
Central Crossing Marching Band is under the direction of Eric Hubble, Jeff Blue, and Bill Showalter. The percussion director is Donnie Ross, and the color guard director is Nikki Peace. They're under the field direction of drum majors Elizabeth Carney, Taylor Carter, and Jack Cowley. Now back to the swing band with the word of Friends and Family Credit Union. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Thank you so much to Friends and Family Credit Union. Now, on comes our Tigers Swing Band. Under the direction of Jason, Jason Neal. Neal. Assisted by Jason Neal. Neal. Christmas Fox. Katie Catalina. Emily Buss. Carla Marshall. And Steve. Jensen Ozar. Then onto the field by drum major Jace Hannon and Obi the Tiger, Adriana Kennedy. We are the Tiger Swing Band of Nassau. With a Nassau tradition since 1938. Fanfare, Tiger Ray, and carry on. The Tiger Swing Band presents some of our favorite music from this past season. Film composer Danny Elfman had one of his first big hits with the music from this 1989 film. Here is his theme from the movie, Batman.
Back in September, the Tiger Swing Band celebrated 85 years of swing with the help of our many band alumni members. We now remember that outstanding performance with a classic song used in that show. Here is Big Noise from Winnetka. with a song with a from, from our, our senior, senior show. show. Our band our seniors, seniors created the drill, created the drill composed, composed the drum, the drum break, break, and designed, and designed the, dance. the dance. We hope you, you enjoy, enjoy our, our version of, of Enter, Enter Sandman. Sandman.
Now a word from my WHS Alumni Association. The Washington High School Alumni Association provides many services to the alumnus and the community. One of the most rewarding things is helping classes with their class reunions or milestone birthday celebrations. If a class chooses to use the Alumni Association, envelopes and labels will be provided at no cost and your invitations will be mailed out as bulk mail, which is a cheaper cost to the class. The Alumni Association also prints a newsletter twice a year. If you make an annual donation of no less than $5, you will receive the newsletter via mail in the spring and fall. If you have moved or your contact information has changed, please visit our website at maslinwhsaa.org and complete the alumni information form to make any changes. If you are interested in joining the Alumni Association, please contact any trustee or call the alumni office at 330-830. 3901 extension 51617. Hello and welcome to the Stark County Humane Society. Today we're going to give you a few pointers when considering adopting a new furry friend. All animals here at the Stark County Humane Society are spayed, neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, dewormed, and if old enough, heartworm tested for our canine friends. Adopters will receive a free exam within two weeks of adoption at local veterinarian hospitals. We encourage all adopters to take full advantage of this. A one-time adoption fee is required for your new furry friend. When you adopt, you get an awesome adoption packet that includes treats for your new fur baby and savings for you. But this is not where the cost of adoption stops. Did you know the average cost of an animal like a new puppy or kitten can cost up to $500 annually? This includes annual veterinary visits, preventative care, and everyday supplies like crate, litter, food, toys. But I hope this doesn't scare you away. Adopting an animal is a huge responsibility and a commitment. Please take the time to consider the cost of adopting a new pet into your family today. I hope to see you soon at the Stark County Humane Society. Please visit our website or visit us on social media for more information. Thank you so much to the WHS Alumni Association. As we come back now, the Tigers are preparing to kick off after halftime there. The Tigers did receive the ball first in the first quarter, so now they are kicking off to the Comets. Number five, Vincent Keller for the kickoff for the Tigers. Okay, kick is underway. Up, straight up left side. Ball taken in around the four. And the returner is tackled. Forward progress placed on around the 14 yard line. Returner was number three, Malik Kamara for the Comets. Tigers defense coming out to start off this second half of the game. So now first and ten for the Comets. Ball placed on their own 15-yard line. Ball snapped, handed off left side. Gets up the middle, taken down around the 20-yard line. That was number number three, Malik Kamara, onto the carry again. Got up to about the 20. Ball plays on the 20. Now brings it to second and five for the Comets. Tigers up 28-0 right now. Clock will be running for majority of the game, or majority of the rest of the game. Ball snapped, handed off. That is number four. Number four, Jalen Williams, and a slam tackle there by who is that? That was number three, Dorian Pringle. Right, exactly. 
So that brings it to third and six, loss of the yard on that last play. So now ball placed on the Comets 19 yard line. Flag is thrown at the 15. Offsides against Maslin. Pushes the ball forward about five yards. Which now brings it to third and one for the for the Comets. Ball placed on their own 24. Ball snapped. They're trying to rush it up the middle. Pile's getting moved. And it looks like it was a first down for the Comets. Ball placed on the Comets. Placed on the Comets 27. Makes it to first and 10 for the Comets. It's starting to rain, actually, on the field. High snap there, headed off number four. It's number four, Jalen Williams. Gets all the way up to about the 30 before being tackled. I believe actually this is gonna be the first game that the Tigers played this year where there's been weather issues. Ball placed on the Comets 32, brings it to second and five. Just about 9.30 left in the second half, or not second half, third quarter. Apologies. That was number, that was number four, Jalen Williams, on the carry there. Gets to about the 30 before being stopped by a whole bunch of Tigers. Brings it to third and six, a loss of a yard on that play. Now placed on the 31 yard line. Comet swapping out a few players. It's number f that's Luke White at quarterback lined up next to Malik Herrera. Oh, deflected by a Tiger. Malik Herrera. Yeah, that was Maverick, Maverick Clark on the SWAT there. Brings it to fourth and six for the Comets. Comets now in punting formation. It's number 11 for the Comets. Dylan Philippi back for the punt. Punt is up, up the middle. Rolling, rolling. Taking it around to the 30. Number 24, Tyler Hackenbrack getting up the left side. Still on his feet all the way up to around the Comets 46 yard line. You see on the replay here, Tyler Hackenbrack getting the ball, scrambling up the left side, breaking a tackle, carrying a few people on him all the way up to about the 46. So now here comes out the Tigers offense for the first time in this second half. It's DeWan Owens back at quarterback in shotgun. Handed off number 21, Jameer Gamble, gets up to about the 45. Tigers actually lost a yard on that run, so it brings it to second and 11 for the Tigers placed on the Comets 46. Ball snapped, handed off Jameer Gamble, going up left side, or no, kept by DeWan Owens, ball's loose. 
And it was picked up by a comment number four, Jalen Williams. It was intended to be a handoff to number 21, Jameer Gamble, but a bit of a mix-up, and both players lose control of the ball. So now brings it to you first and 10 for the Comets placed on the Tigers' 41-yard line. 7.57 left in the third quarter. Whistle blown. Timeout comments. Timeout offense. First timeout of the half. No word from Dun Dun Maslin Association. There's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Association. So we come back and out. The Tigers just turned over the ball with a fumble. So now it is the Comets ball placed on the Tigers 41 yard line. First and 10, 757 left on the clock for the third quarter. Luke White still at quarterback. High, high snap. Whistle was blown as soon as it started. Flag down on the 41. That is a false start call against the Comets. Ball gets moved back about five yards, now placed on the 46. Brings it to first and 15. Ball snap number three, Malik Malik Kamara on the carry. Gets blitzed by a few Tigers. Seems to be getting a little slick out there. Hopefully everyone's okay. Yeah, rain's starting to affect the turf now. It looks like it still is sprinkling a little bit, but not coming down nearly as bad as it was earlier. Maybe two second and 18, ball placed on the 49. Ball snapped. Blitzed by a few Maslin players. Ball was high, almost intercepted by number six, Adonis Marshall. Was in, it was intended for number 11, I think. Yeah, number 11 is... Oh, they have. Number 11, Dil of Dylan Philippi. Brings it to third and 18 for the Comets. Well snapped. Blitz by Tigers. Incomplete throw. Not. No receiver really anywhere near it. It's now fourth and f fourth and eighteen. Comets punting team coming back out again. Tigers still up twenty-eight zero. Seven oh three left third quarter.
Ball snapped. Punt is up middle. Taken in around the 12, gets up to about the 25 before getting tackled. There's a flag down on the Comets 44, though. Down. So that was a holding call against the Comets. So that moves the ball up to about the 41 for the Tigers. Tigers now placed on the Comets 41 yard line. Oh, no, 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 no. They're replaying the down. Fourth and 33 for the Comets. Ball snapped. Punt is up. High punt off right side. We go around to the 25. Top by 24. That's 24. Tyler Hackenbrack gets up to about the 29. Tigers placed on their own 30-yard line. Brings to first and 10 for the Tigers. 6.41 left on the clock in the third quarter. Ball snapped, handed off right side. That is number 20, 21, I believe. Yeah, 21, Jameer Gamble. It's Jameer Gamble with the carry for the Tigers. Release Jameer there to make the tackle. No loss or gain on that play. Brings it to second and ten. Officials timeout. Official timeout as there is a player down on the field. Now word from Doring Vision Center. Doring Vision Center is a primary care optometry clinic located in downtown Maslin. We have an optical department with a wide variety of eyeglass frames. From budget packages to designer brands, we have it all. Doring Vision Center uses the latest technology and fit all types of contact lenses. We treat eye disease conditions and will take emergency eye visits. Most insurances are accepted and same-day appointments may be available. Doring Vision Center. See our offices in Maslin or New Philadelphia. Thank you so much to Doring Business Center. As we come back, Snap is back to Dewan Owens, who scrambles up the left side, finds an opening, gets to about the fifth, gets to about the 50-yard line before getting pushed out of bounds. Number 25, Dane Little, ushers him out of bounds. There's a flag down. I do not see where. Holding called against the Tigers will bring that play back. Okay, now second and 20 for the Tigers. Almost got the defense there. So second and 20, ball placed on the 20 yard line. Ball snapped, looking to throw, finds Emmy Lewis Jr. up the left side. Gets to about the 35, 30 yard line. Ball placed on the 29. 
will bring it to third and 11 for the Tigers. Brings up third and 11 for the Tigers. Ball snapped to Dewan Owens, steps back looking to throw. Gets blitzed by a few people. Number one, Braylon Tolles receives the ball. Owens pass complete to number one, Braylon Tolles. Gets tackled around the 22. Tigers bringing out their punting team for the first time this game. Number 24, Tyler Hackenberg back to punt for the Tigers. Khalid Kamara, number three, back deep to return for the Comets. Well snapped. The punt is blocked. And it is picked up around the four yard line. So that will be the Comets ball placed around the five. Preston Wynn was there to recover for the Comets. And that's a first down and a first and goal. So that's first and goal for the Comets, uh, placed five yards from the end zone. This is the best chance at a touchdown the Comets have had all game. See if they can use it to their advantage. Hear the crowd wild up. Ball snapped, handed off to Malik Kamara, who gets up the left side and in for a Comet touchdown. and able to see who's doing the extra point for the Comets. The extra point is blocked. It's number three, Dorian Pringle on the block there. A word from the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you so much to the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. So we come back now, Tigers, a Tigers punt was blocked and turned into a touchdown for the Comets, and the Comets extra point was now just blocked by the Tigers. So now Comets kickoff team out on the field. That brings the score to 28 to six. Tigers up. Onside kick by the Comets. Looks like the ball was taken in by number three, Dorian Pringle, turning that onside into a 50, 49 yard placement for the Tigers. Take over first and ten on their own 49. 
Dewan Owens at quarterback. Jameer Gamble lined up to his right. Ball snapped. Owens stepping back to throw. Finds someone up the middle. That was number one, Braylon Tolles. He can see the speed on Braylon Tolles on the replay here. He gets, he gets the ball and just gets all the way up to the left side of the middle in just a few seconds. All the way up, taken. Tackled around the 30. Ball placed on the 30. Brings it to first and 10 for the Tigers. 4-10 left on the clock. Clock still running. Ball snapped. Quick throw right side. Braylon Tolles. Stiff arms. Somebody gets all the way up to about the 19 before being pushed out of bounds. Brings it to another first down for the Tigers. Ball placed on the Comets 19. Braylon Tolls is definitely tiny but mighty. Yes. The speed he has. Kept by Dewan Owens who goes up the right side. Gets to about the 15 before being pushed out of bounds. We've been seeing a good mix of running and passing plays this whole game. Dewan back at shotgun. Second and five for the Tigers. Scrambling left side, looking for a quick pass, and it is into the end zone. Number eight, Emmy Lewis Jr. for the touchdown for the Tigers. Yes. And the Tigers retaliating on that touchdown with one of their own. Tigers lining up for a two point right here. Got Mike Wright Jr., Dorian Pringle lined up behind Dewan Owens. Handed off Dorian Pringle, who pushes up through the middle. And it can't quite get there. Now a word from our pharmacy, Medicap Pharmacy. Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from 5 to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait a half hour to an hour. They're probably the best uh, pharmacist in the city. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Thank you so much to Medicap Pharmacy. So we come back now. Tigers kickoff team back out on the field. The Tigers just scored their fifth touchdown of the game. Went for a two point but couldn't quite get there. Score now six to 34, Tigers up. Just about three and a half minutes, three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. And the kick is up right side. Taken in by a Comet. Scrambling up left side. Finds an opening. And tackled around at the 35. Flag is thrown at the 33. Refs didn't quite like that tackle there.
could hear the fan reaction there. <laughs> Ball now placed at the Comets 49 yard line. Brings two first and 10 for the Comets. Ball snapped, entered off number three, Malik Kamara, who gets tackled at the fifth, at the 47, around the 47. Ball kept on the 49, brings it to second and 10 for the Comets. Just about three minutes left in the third quarter, clock running down. Ball snapped, handed off, number four. That's number four, Jalen Williams. Brings it to third and three. Ball placed on the 44, Tigers 44. Comets looking for a first down here. Ball snapped, number four, Jay. That was number four, Jalen Williams, who get tackled around the around the 44. So now fourth and three for the Comets. Comets offense staying out on the field, looking to try and make this first down. One forty left on the clock, clock still running. Ball snapped, handed off Jalen Williams, who gets tackled at the 45, and now that is a turnover on down for the Tigers, their second of the game. Wasn't really a tackle as much as he slipped. Reminder, turf is still pretty wet out there. Rain has pretty much stopped, but turf stay wet for a pretty, for a pretty good while. Tigers now placed on their own 46, first and 10. 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Or a minute 28. That was caught right side, number one, Braylon Tolles. Tackled around the 50. Ball placed on the Comets 49. Brings it to second and five for the Tigers. Ball snapped. Handed up to my handed off to Mylon Lennox who gets to Yep, got the first down. Ball placed on the forty four. Milan Lennox lined up left side of Dewan Owens. Mossap Milan Lennox gets the ball, tries going up the middle, gets tackled by two or three of the Comets. Ball now placed on the 45, loss of a yard there. Fifteen seconds left on the clock for the third quarter. This is likely to be the last play of the quarter if they get it off in time. 
Ball snapped. Dewan Owens looking. Throws up left side. It's number nine. It's number nine. Uh, Jade Thickpin on the reception there for the Tigers. And there's an injury on the field. from the Menchins Brothers. Here at Menchez Brothers, we offer the comfort of a home-cooked meal and a welcoming atmosphere. We are home to 50 burgers, so you will never run out of options to choose from, and on Wednesdays, you can get those burgers for $3 off. We also have delicious breakfast specials. Come to Menchez Brothers to experience the incredible food and be serviced by our friendly staff. We can be found in downtown Maslin. You can call in a pickup order, or you can get it delivered using DoorDash. We can't wait to see you. the Menchus Brothers. As we come back now, we are starting the fourth quarter off. Tigers ball. Ball placed on the Comets 20-yard line. At the start of the fourth quarter, the Tigers have it first and ten on the Comet 20. Dewan Owens lined up. Mylon Lennox to his right. Dewan looking to throw. Throw up high, right side. Braylon Tolles who gets in for the tie for the touchdown for the Tigers. It's Braylon Tolles second receiving touchdown of the game. Tigers looking for just a normal extra point. Kick is up and the extra point is good. Now we're from Fat Daddy Meats. Fat Daddy Meats, when you have the fillin' to do some grilling or roasting, broiling, pan frying, slow cooking, braising, smoking, or even air frying. However you like to cook it, Fat Daddy Meats has it. Locally sourced ground beef, steaks, roasts, prime rib, and seafood, pork, chicken, bison, and exotics like elk, venison, wild boar tenderloin, wagyu burgers, even whole rabbits. Individual packages or bulk bundle options are available, all with great prices. When you have that fillin' to do some grilling, it's Fat Daddy Meats and Maslin. Thank you so much to Fat Daddy Meats. White, white, 59. Personal foul. Red, red. 50. Foul's offset. Couldn't quite hear which, what fouls those two were, but both did offset. So... Extra point is good for the Tigers. Tigers up 41 to 6 right now. Clock will be running majority of the quarter now. Comet stepping back to return this kickoff from the Tigers. Number five, Vincent Keller out for the kickoff. Number five, Vincent Keller, the kickoff for the Tigers. Kick is up. Kick right side, or er, mostly up the middle. Taking him number three, Malik Kamara. 
who is tackled. That is number 11 for the Tigers. Number 11 for the Tigers, Ricardo Wells on the tackle there. Ball will be placed at the 28. Ten forty three left on the clock. Probably gonna go by really quickly. Well snapped. Good pressure by the Tigers. Made made a throw that's number 10 Steeler Bean on the reception there player down on the field officials timeout they're having an officials timeout while attending to the injured player Last but not least, the Space Shop. Welcome to the Space Shop. With supplies and carts on site, you will be moved into your climate controlled unit at the speed of light. Our 24-7 surveillance and on-site managers ensure that your items are well taken care of. With peace of mind, stop in and enjoy some warm complimentary cookies. The Space Shop is your launch pad for a decluttered lifestyle. Thank you so much to the Space Shop. You come back now as the player is being helped off the field. That is number 10, Steeler Bean, who just caught the ball there. A rough tackle, so being escorted off the field. Brings it to second and six for the Comets. Ball placed on their own 31. Handed off right side, that is Malik. Malik Kamara. Props to Malik Kamara. Most of the time when they are getting tackled, they stay up long enough to, for the whistle to be blown without being fully tackled. Good at staying on his feet. Right to third and seven. Ball placed on the 30. Ball snapped. Quick throw up middle. That's number, that's number 10, Steeler Bean. Brings it to fourth and seven, fourth and three ball placed on the 34. And it looks like the Comets are going to be bringing out their punting team. Nine minutes left in the last quarter. Tigers up 41 to six, clock still running. High snap. Punt is up. Mounces around the 35. Rolls, rolls. And taken around to the 32. So I'll place the Tigers on their own 32. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting mass and fo Tiger football as our Tigers continue their playoff, playoff run with a home game against an opponent to be determined. Watch the rebroadcast on WHS TV on November 4th, 5th, and 6th at 12, 4, and 8 p.m. and on November 7th at 8 p.m. Catch all the action on Aston Tiger football all, all season long and into the playoffs on WHS TV. 
Please watch us on MCTV, channel 6, 1, 1, and 11. Number 40, Bishop Cup gets the carry for the Tigers. There's number 40 on a run for the Tigers. That is Bishop Cup. Clock still running down. About 7.50 left in the last quarter here. That is number 20. Ball handed off. Number 40, Bishop Cup again. Whoa. Bit of extra there. Refs did throw a flag down on the 42. Personal foul. 52 up. Defense. 15 yards, first down. 15 yard penalty after that personal. Moves the Tiger up to the Comets 47. See on the replay here, Bishop Cup there. You can see the foul. Er, not. You can see the foul starting there after Bishop Cup was tackled. The opponent pushed his head back in the ground as he was trying to stand back up. So, 6.25 left in the fourth quarter. Clock's going to be running majority of the quarter. So, Tigers just trying to get first, first downs, run the clock out. Tigers are up 41-6 to six right now. That is number 20 for the Tigers. Manuel Patterson as the quarterback. Bishop Cup getting good yards there all the way up to around the 35. <laughs> Tigers placed on the Comets 35 now. There's offense lined up. Ball snapped. Handed off to Bishop Cup. They were prepared for it, though. Bishop he Cup is tackled around the 40. Ball placed on the 38. Second and 13 for the Tigers. Brings two second down and 13 yards for the Tigers. About 4:40 left, 4:45 left on the clock. Now, clock still running down. Ball snapped. Steps back to throw. Goes up right side. Incomplete. Three people there trying to get the catch. That was intended for number 11, Ricardo Wells. Clock about to hit four minutes left in the fourth quarter. 3-13, or third and 13 on the 38 for the Tigers. Ball snap, looking throw, finds the one up on the left side. That is number... This number nine, Jade's Thigpen on the reception. 
Ball now placed around the 30, putting the uh, Tigers at fourth and five. Tigers offense likely to stay out on the field here, try to get the first down if they can. There's offense staying out on the field. Number tw That is number 20, Manuel Patterson, still at quarterback. Ball snap, looking up right side. Ball throw, number 23. Breaks two tackles. Yeah, Dalen Pringle on the reception, breaking tackles there. That was a first down for the Tigers. Ball now placed on the 21. Dalen Pringle on that run there broke, or on that pass there, broke four tackles. <laughs> Ball snapped. Throw up right side. Pass was incomplete, almost intercepted, but the Comet could not keep his feet in. One forty-five left in the fourth quarter. Clock running down. Tigers most likely just going to try and kill as much time as they can. Handing off number 40, Bishop Cup, who goes up the left side. All the way up to about the 17. Brings third and five, ball placed on the 16 yard line. If the Tigers can get this first down, game's basically up. Uh oh. Is there a fight breaking out? I don't know. Security running over to the opponent's opponent's bleachers. It looks like there's some people fighting in the bleachers. Seems like this police must be getting serious. Ball game is official. And the ball game is called. 55 seconds left, and the game is called. Tigers just won 41 to 6. This game is actually really well fought for both teams.
As we wrap up tonight's coverage of Maslin Tiger football, we want to take time to thank the members of our WHS TV crew. Tonight's production includes on cameras Trevor Lake, Logan Lightfoot, Miguel Reyes, and Trinity Stout. Our color commentator tonight was Alicia Stutzman. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Xavier Bissett. Also thanks to our directors, Mr. DeWald and Mr. Rock. Once again, our final score was Maslin 41 and Center Crossing 6. Once again, everyone here at WHS-TV wishes to thank all of our season-long sponsors. Be sure to tune in next week as our Tigers will play their second playoff game against an opponent yet to be determined. Tonight's game on WHS-TV has been produced by the Washington High School Media Arts Department. Thanks for watching, and go Tigers! Most of us are engaged with the internet in one way or another every day. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, engaged. MCTV cares about keeping you engaged, no matter what's thrown your way. Need an upgrade? Choose from a range of reliable options, including whole home Wi-Fi. MCTV. We go the extra smile.